for joining to my video again. I actually, I, it's, a, it's going to be a short video today because um, I don't have a lot, but I thought I can share everything that I'm doing, which would be kind of fun for, you, for so, some of you to see. Um, so I have this beautiful planter today, and I think I'm going to plant just a few things in here. Uh, for the last fall, I went ahead and planted bulbs, like tulips and um, some other um, bulbs in here for the season. So they're all finished, and they actually the foliage already died down. So I went ahead and transferred all the foliage and all the bulbs into a landscape. And I'm, and I'm hoping for they will come up next year uh, in the different areas. But uh, now I'm getting ready for the summer for color, and so I'm going to uh, plant my summer annuals. So this is a really nice area. I actually moved our bench from a covered patio downstairs. Now it's like my favorite place to sit here because it's just really kind of nice. Um, uh, cozy area here with all the hydrangeas which are going to open um, and I just wanted to show you guys really quick look at all the flower buds that are um, happening right now uh, so I'm they will be opening here soon uh, getting ready so I will do another tour when all the hydrangeas are open but it's a nice shady area it's not it's it's dappled shade I guess um, so I'm going to plant today uh, begonia and also euphorbias. So it's going to be simple, and I don't want to plant anything really major trailing just because I really love this pot. I think it's really, really beautiful, and I don't really want to cover the pot. So I, today I have... Uh, I was today I have begonias and these begonias get really really big I planted one last year honestly just one is plenty but this year I decided to go with the euphobias on the sides so we'll see if this will work my idea is kind of trying to squeeze the euphobias all in three edges like that and try to have maybe trail a little bit sort of like this we'll see if i can accomplish it if not i'm just going to go just with one begonia and maybe find um somewhere else that i can plant the euphobias so we'll see if this works that's the idea and uh, i just uh, basically filled the pot with a uh, new compost and i already sprinkled my slow release fertilizer in here to make sure that my plants get plenty of nutrients from the soil and then after I'm finished, I'm going to um, uh, uh, water them with uh, some water mixed with tomato feed. I really like tomato, mixing tomato feed with my water for my annual plants because, again, they are... They produce their producers, they produce lots of lots of flowers, and tomato feed just really feeds them, helps them to produce. And so, the, the annuals, and th this is what's so great about annuals because that's what we want. We plant them just so they can produce flowers all summer long. So, I'll just go ahead and start planting. Okay, you guys, so there is one ready. Um, I, I think it turned out good. I, you know, I don't know how they will do. I barely squeeze them in there. And I know the begonia is going to get really big. I'll just keep an eye on it. Um, and if I see that they are just really competing for the space, I think I will just go ahead and move them in a different pot. But for right now, I think they will be okay. I really like how it looks. And I'm hoping, my idea is I'm hoping that Euphobia will kind of grow and fill in around. And I'm hoping that the Begonia is going to kind of rise up a little bit and kind of fall down. But it will be the centerpiece sort of thriller. So we'll see how it goes. I'm just going to give them a little water and uh, some fertilizer. And uh, we'll just see how it goes. I'll update you. OK, 
okay. So I like it. I think the colors are really pretty. I like the white with the pink. I hope this works out. So we'll just go now to my other two pots, which are very close to my new project that I started uh, working on. So we'll go ahead and um, do a whole another combination of colors to those two different pots. Okay guys, so we are here. I'm going to work on those two, two pots today. As you can see, it's been such a busy time for me. Uh, all the, you know, it's time for all the weeding and deadheading and fertilizing. So I'm trying to keep up with all of that and obviously trying to continue on with my new project as I will update you as it comes. But this area I just finished, I do need to, I need to redo this one whole stair because I'd like to place a, a landscaping fabric underneath the stepping stones to prevent the weeds from coming through. However, I, the rest of them I actually already, I'm, I'm already finished, which is, um, it makes me feel really, really good to at least accomplish this area. I created this walkway, which is really nice. I can walk through and get to the other side of the garden, which is uh, this area here is going to be kind of an Italian inspired garden with uh, Italian cypress and some lemon cypresses. But um, anyway, I do love this blue lobelia though. Maybe you can come close, George, so, so you can show. These are really nice. They totally fill in this space. and. Uh, I, I love this blue here. It's, they're doing incredible. These two sides of the um, uh, arbor with uh, edged with um, boxwood. It looks amazing. I'm so happy how it turned out. But anyway, back to the containers. I couldn't help it because I found this salvia in the garden center and I decided to purchase them to be my um, centerpiece as a thriller. And I planted them because I really didn't want it to wait. Uh, sometimes flowers, you know, it's, it, I, they, they really like to go into the soil. And sometimes for the videos, I have to wait a little bit to get it done with the time. But um, I already planted them. I uh, filled the pots with the new compost uh, potting soil. And I already mixed in with the slow release fertilizer. So the pots are all ready to be planted with the fillers and, uh, and spellers. So um, for the trailing vines, I, did, I went with the uh, sweet potato vine, but I did go with the purple color just because I think purple will be really nice if I, can, if I plant them here, uh, right in the center and allow them to kind of trail down on, you know, in the, uh, at the center of the pots. And also the reason why I went with this color is because I think the color, it will go really well with the color blue here. And also I decided to kind of carry the deep eggplant color or purple color uh, uh, to be kind of um, coordinated with a Japanese maple that is right here. So I thought it would be really nice kind of a deep color to carry on here as well just because it's really pretty and it will be more uniformed um, also i went with the gazinias to be as a, for the filler part of the plants uh, and they are unfortunately closed but this one right here is still a little bit open um, gazinias usually do close in the evening time and then they do open when the sun comes out uh, but um, they still will be fine but uh, they have this beautiful pink kind of a maroonish color to them. I'll bring it close to the camera so you can see. When they open, it will be really, really pretty. And also, I think this color will also coordinate really well with the blue right here. And blue and the deep color with the, with the uh, sweet potato vine. I also chose to plant a couple of 
these super bell type flowers you know i tried to figure out exactly what type they are but um i had to translate from french and it didn't translate well for me so um it is a, 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 a i think they're super bell apricot doubles and they have a really sweet double double flowers with a with a deep um, maroon centers which are really really pretty so i thought it would be really beautiful with the entire combination and they also spell down a little bit will hopefully fill in so they will go really good with my gazinia also will look really great next to the sweet potato vine the colors are just so beautiful and also with the blue so these are my combination of colors today i chose i think it's going to be really pretty so i'll just go ahead and start planting Okay, so I'm missing one super bell. So I will have to run to the store and get one more of those. And I think I probably, when I was purchasing, I probably didn't purchase six just because I thought maybe it will not be enough room for the containers. But I, it looks like there is plenty of room. So I'll just run later, uh, hopefully today or maybe tomorrow and grab one more of these guys. It's definitely have room for, the, for one more. enough room for one more but anyway I this is so this is what it looks like and it's amazing I absolutely love the colors I love the blue these guys just really pop in this container next to the dark foliage of sweet potato vine also this dusty blue color just gorgeous I, I think this is by far my favorite containers this year for sure I love this color combination it makes me so happy anyway but this is a new new color combination I have not gone with these colors I thought the pink and blue and uh, apricot or peach would go really really great together I love how it turned out anyway you guys I hope uh, this video was inspirational for you and I hope that uh, you know you will go and maybe get some flowers and start potting some flowers for the summer and um, um, and enjoy them for the rest of the color, enjoy all the colors for the rest of the summer. Um, anyway, I think that this will be all for the, for this time for this video. I uh, hope you have a wonderful week, and um, uh, and we, I will see you in the next video. H happy gardening! Bye bye.